what is up guys Dave Lou here welcome back to more internet 3 gameplay now um yeah this is a little recorded video so um I just decided to have to do it I have to it wasn't a choice now I'm gonna equip that real quick and um alright <clears throat> what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be finishing up this guy's quest over here Tanner Chest and what I'm going to be doing is walking over here to the weapon knife and Ralph. We're going to be clicking on the weapon shop. And then we're going to be identifying the weapon. You just tap on the dagger that you're supposed to give him by grabbing both of his new quest or whatever. Whatever he's supposed to be fucking doing. I mean. <sighs> Sorry. Now, there is no real confirmation about the guy. If you're not allowed, you actually have to pay for it. I mean, this, the, the quest really isn't going to give you a lot, that's why I'm telling you that, um, see, look, 11, and you put, and you paid a lot for it, now, <sighs> we're going to be walking, wait, where is it, let me check, okay, good, alright, now, um, there's nothing else we should be doing except for just going in this house over there, which you just saw me going to, um, let me show you where it is, where I am right now, because you guys probably are mysteriously disappointed. Just went from over here and walked up into this house over here. You can just walk up to the door. And you can't go anywhere else, you can't do nothing. I wish there was a little bit of, um, mods or something in here, but you can't, so. You just press the action button, that's the exact same thing you do to talk to everybody. And, um, yeah. Alright, so, um, she's gonna give you a traditional level armor, 15 XP, and 11 gold. And, um, here comes the dialogue. <sighs> now, I'm not gonna be, um, like I said in my last Let's Play, I'm not gonna be only doing Antenna. This is only just for these two last days of this week, only because, um, I still want to be putting out TW1 content as a daily YouTuber who does commentary in my videos. Now, I will say this, it's pretty stupid to see that many people who don't really record often YouTube videos of TW1 with us, but it's also because that you really don't, um, like, you actually have to put a dedication into YouTube just to record the content yourself. I mean, for crying out loud, you may think, Oh man, it's so dumb and stupid and it's, it's really not, but hey, look man, I didn't, I, to be honest, I'm not a TWM YouTuber, I am an IMO MMO YouTuber, that's where I record the games, I just like to record some kind of different games that I really like to record, and right now, I was actually asked by many people to play this game, I'm not even, I'm still not even sure if it's an IMO MMO game, <laughs> I didn't check. <clears throat> but yeah, alright, so, um, now, uh, now, what I'm gonna be telling you guys right now is that this game really takes one, like, twist, it takes a twist, sometimes, every time, like I said, train your butt off, you know, you can go over level, little level, whatever level, if you played the game before, you know, and you, you're ready to give me hints about everything, don't give me a head of hints, give me the hints that I'm going to go along with whenever I actually reach them, so yeah. Alright, we're gonna walk the freak out of here, and we're gonna go back in our inventory, equip this, go to it, equip it, we're gonna earn a little bit more armor. Now, <clears throat> before we meet up with that, before we go in the house, do not go in there yet. Trust me. Not good to go in there. We're not gonna rate that because um it doesn't really do anything for us. No benefit. Now what we're gonna do is gonna go over here. We're gonna go um from the side of here. These people walk freaking fast as crap. I'm talking about like you can run into anything, but that's why um they made the house slippery. Whatever a hive did to these houses, they made them freaking slippery. So you're gonna walk into a lot of shit. You you better be ready. <laughs> All right, don't go on the um. By the way, I plan on getting a healer because I don't really don't want to have to go all the way back. And um, the next village that you're going to be meeting up with is going to be freaking far. Or at least have enemies with it. 
Alright, so we're not gonna go in there because Fox Reasons is gonna bring us on to a whole entire different story mode and with a person higher level than us. What we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna come over here and fight these enemies. Now they're level five, but what you might be thinking is why would you wanna come over here and fight these? The reason is levels. Now, what are you thinking? The Dave, you're supposed to be going through the game. Up 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 up. Look, man. Okay, let me tell you something. In order to get, in order to be ready for the next boss, you better be able to do this because what I'm doing is I'm I'm not leveling up. Like, I did level up. I will admit that. But the main level that I'm trying to get through is four because um later on I'm gonna actually fight up another person like a little bit of a story mode boss. So. I better meet up with um, my level recommendation that would really be recommended inside this level and also it just helps you get more money and a little bit helps you also learn about your skills. Now I don't use the toughness skill right now, this little skill that's already right there, this skill right here is because it's really not that effective. I'm not going to use a skill that's level 1 and it's not really going to do anything. <clears throat> I mean for crying out loud. It's like me, um, like, using a useless skill in TWM. Alright, now. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, it is, uh, it, it will help your damage go up or whatever. Don't walk in this, it slows you down, but I really don't freaking care about it. I mean, who's in a rush, right? Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna just be walking around the whole entire place, just killing whatever, and don't forget to level, f um, four. And we can finally get the freak out of here because I'm pretty sure nothing else around here is helping my butt. Mm. Also, this is also going to help us ahead of time when we actually have to come back here. So, yep. This is just a little place that, you know, they should have been ready for us to just launch our butts into. But I'm just one of those people who actually just exploited the game and now I'm ready for any boss that ever comes in my way. Which means that you don't have to take, which means that if you're really not one of those people who really like taking all day with a boss and whatever. What is this? A prison. Is this a no prison? Yes it is. Good. Alright, well, I just found a shield. Um, so yeah, if you're really one of those people who really don't like taking all day with the killing bosses and, and taking all day with doing the whole entire game, then I suggest you at least try to get ahead a little bit, like fight a little bit of early mobs, try to get them a little bit off of track of this whole entire story mode, because what the story mode is doing to you is leading you down a path to where you actually have to take all that longness. Now, what I've done with the whole entire game myself is I've actually just kind of um like yeah you may be wondering how many is he not dead also when you level up you heal health so yeah I'm gonna run all the way back and we're gonna go all the way back to the village which don't follow all these green arrows I mean they're all lies if you're crying out loud I mean like don't follow them period point blank <laughs> alright now um, now we can finally go into this place up here, but before we do, we have levels to put on these two, so yes, finally, they're gonna be level two, but the MP consumption is gonna be way higher than usual. Alright, let's go talk to this chief of our village. I'm gonna get some shoes. My phone's dying, but who cares, right? Alright, um, talking about adult sam hood samurai, um, I really still haven't as many times as I've played this game. I still don't know what that is. It's just a whole bunch of me with a whole bunch of people. Alright. Well. They're just celebrating on how they're just grown ups. So yeah. It's pretty freaking amazing. You know. Alright. <sighs> now. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting a brand new person added to our party. Now, the max you can have in your party is three people, but technically, I'm just going to tell you guys this, that you guys really shouldn't be getting too attracted to one person, like one merc or whatever, because what's going to happen is all your party is going to be split up. So, train each and every per percent of your party thoroughly, wellly, 
and be prepared for whatever's come next because what I what happened to me is the most surprising boss ever actually came to me and this whole entire story mode just split up and amazingly gone all right amazingly gone now one more thing that I would also like to say is that make sure that you're doing the most damage to the enemy because if she's doing the most damage, damage to the enemy, then you know that you're dead, alright? Now, see, she's joined the party. Now, this, now we finally have a healer, but she's not going to be our main, main healer. Now, I think about it. I mean, if we find somebody with better skills and she's not able to match all our skills, you can see her status. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the skill on normal. New skill, auto counter attack off. Oh. Cause, you know, I mean, if you're gonna go, this game was made for AFK, alright, so, um, when I, yeah, you can click on one of them to control everyone, alright, I'm gonna be using the main character, everybody freaking hate this place, I don't like to be here, alright, we're gonna request this also as well, don't do this one, alright, it's, it's trash, don't do it, alright, they're just telling you to do some whatever crap, I wouldn't do it if I were you. Not worth it. Alright. Now, what we're going to be doing is, um, we're supposed to hunt down some stuff. Never mind, actually. Um, I'm just here to get new gear. I'd kill these guys because they drop these green hats. Um, they're not the same ones that you fought at the beginning of the game, but these are different. They drop these green hats, which I'm going to need. They drop. I don't know. Never mind. I'm going to need this. Now, I'm not putting on one, right? because I'm, I want to be the one that's dealing the most damage. The reason why is because if she catches on and she dies is by a high level boss or enemy, then that's my healer gone and I could die easily. So, also bosses will kind of mainly aim for your healers or at least different parts of your group. So, I'd be careful. And there are many bosses in this game, so that's one right there. Youngblood Tornado, which is a also a quest that we just picked up, which I'm not in the mood to be looking for. Um, what are we doing? Hmm. Yeah, our next quest is up in here, which is exactly. Wait, before we go up there, crap. You better just kill my way in here because I'm still looking for a hat for her. She she needs armor as well, but she already has like armor, armor, but. I'm just looking for the hat for her because, you know, extra armor might want to be ready at least. I mean, alright, let me just kill this guy. Even though I don't really need to. I'm um, use the skill. Alright, come on. Die. Thank you. Put it in the cage. A little side quest. I like doing side quests at the game. Hope you get more XP. Help you out. Alright, level 3 and it's dead. Um, let me hurry up and get over here. Come on. Alright, never mind. I don't want to go back to the village. Alright, let's go up in here and we're going to be starting a new story. Um, the next patch of the story. Alright. Um, this whole entire story, man. I mean, I'm telling you right now. I mean, it's all just love story. I mean, if you guys aren't reading this dialogue already, the ending is amazing. They actually fall in love whenever we reach, like, wait, never mind, it's, no, we don't even reach level 20 before they fall in love. Hmm, never mind. Um, so I just went over. Not too much extraordinary. Uh, this video might have to be shorter than the others, especially because um the dialogue's taking way too long. <sighs> All right, yeah, she's a healer. She just tried to heal him. All right, guys. Well, um, I guess that's that's really gonna have to end it right here because um you know I really don't have too much going on right now. And also, um, I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, considering the fact that I have to get this, um, what is it, crap, I forgot what it was called, anyways, yeah, but I'm just gonna send this to Caleb, and I'll figure out the word later on, I also have to go, um, 
and I also have to put this in the description, type it down all the way in the description, and then also get another early recording done, because, yeah, I think I'm going somewhere tomorrow, on January 3rd, pretty sure I'm supposed to be going somewhere today, but, oh well, <laughs> alright, I'm just gonna click on this, take that quest, and, um, take it, alright, now, Millie's not in our party anymore, but that's where we just left off. If you guys don't know what happened, then I suggest you guys recap the video. Alright, so yeah. Um, we did a lot today. I'm not gonna be able to continue as of today. I would make this a 20 minute video, but yeah. Alright, so goodbye everybody, and until next time.